Today, we're gonna talk about one new gift that I got for Christmas. I've been wanting to have just some different elements to put into my background. Uh, so I've got my Star Wars things that have been up here forever. I'm a big Star Wars fan, like most people know. Um, I also have other things like uh, certifications on my wall, some other like pop socket things over here, uh, some other awards that I've put out there that just really to me stood out as being things that I wanted to showcase from my life. Um, not the back of my, <laughs> my chair at rest. Uh, this is a small space and I'm working to kind of give me a little bit more room. So I'm gonna focus on changing some things around um, as the year progresses in 2023. But I did want to kind of start to think, add some things onto my background that just made sense, right? I wanted some things that just stood out to be uh, a pretty solid uh, piece of, 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 of technology that I liked that will showcase a few things. And that comes into this guy. So during the Christmas holiday, Yulanzi, um, basically released this, I think they released it maybe about two months before the holidays, but only in certain markets. And it, it just recently was available to be ordered around, I think the beginning of December, uh, end of November. And this you look very unique clock. It's a digital pixel clock. And I, I, I like it because it has a few things that stand out. It's definitely a, it's a simple clock. It has just a few features on here. It's got the ability to tell the temperature. Uh, we'll discuss that in a minute, a little bit more. Um, you can see your YouTube fans who signed up and uh, we'll definitely showcase that in a minute. And, uh, it, and it's just a personal clock, right? Time, date. Um, you can even put on what they call a tomato clock. So it has a 25 minute counter to where if you knew you need to be done with something within 25 minutes, you can set that up and it'll start counting down. Um, I personally didn't turn that feature on just yet. I just didn't have any need for it, but I, I like it a lot. And I think this is something that there were a lot of uh, YouTube type clocks out there that, um, that I personally liked and I thought they were pretty cool, but they were all very expensive. This guy on the other hand, you know, where the average one was around $200 or more, this one comes in at only $49.90. So, and that is US pricing that is ordering directly from New Lonzi's website. Um, I'll put the link in the description below. But I will tell you this right now, um, surprisingly, I actually did get it. My daughter ordered it, I think she said about a week and a half before Christmas and she got it. We got it <laughs> literally Christmas Eve, it showed up. Um, and I was amazed at how fast that she was able to get it. Um, with it being, you know, the time frame that it is. But I wanted to showcase the clock to you and just tell you about some things that's in there. So this is the clock. It's very well made. It's simple. Um, it's a, a nice big LCD screen. You'll kind of see that in just a second. It's a little thick, but you know, nothing major. Uh, on the back, you've got, you know, a place where you would basically charge it, which is where my finger's at right there. So it has a USB-C charging port right there and has a little LED light on the my right side here that shows you that it's charging. And I believe with the other one was just a reset button that's in here too, so you can reset it. Uh, on the very top, there are a couple things that you can see is three buttons here. One, two, three, there's a uh, arrow to the left, arrow to the right, and then a center button. I'll explain that in a second. And an ambient light sensor. So uh, for, for 50 bucks, you can already see this is starting to turn out to be something that might be pretty interesting. Well, to turn it on, you hold down both of these buttons here for a couple seconds and it comes on. There you go, you have Yulanzi pops up and it kind of goes through a couple settings. So there's your clock. Now I'm gonna let it run here for a second and you're gonna see something as it's running um, that might uh, be a little bit hilarious, but we're working on that, right people? And that is my YouTube counter. So as this thing cycles, it has the ability to cycle through each one of those settings. So you have the time, the date, and I think it's just there for like 10 seconds. Then it moves on to the next thing. So I'm gonna stop it right here on a date. And just a simple press, you hear the little beep and that locks it onto that particular screen. 
to get it off of that screen, you just press and hold it, and you hear the double beep, and it takes it off of that screen. If I want to progress this, I can actually just hit the left arrow or right arrow, and it'll take me to my next options that pop up. Here's my battery. Actually, that was my YouTube counter. Whoops, go back. So you can see how many subscribers I have. This is ideally what I'm gonna have sitting on the shelf here in just a little bit. So on my next video, it'll be posted on there and it'll sit there from now on, on that particular uh, icon. During meetings, I'll probably turn it off of the YouTube side and put the time and date on there. Um, as you can see, the next thing was the battery. So it tells you it actually has a rechargeable battery. Um, it says it lasts up to five hours of use when the battery's on. Now I charged this up last night and I can tell you that um, it hasn't had any problems. I've had it turned off for the last uh, 24 hours. And in the box, you get just the unit itself and a USB charging cable. And I want to show everyone something about this cable that stands out. It's one of the few that the interior tip, if I can get it to focus, it's kind of tough, is purple. So I know that the, the colors do mean different things in the USB stats, right? It's like different power outages or wattages, I should say. Um, and so it represents how much power can be sent through this cable to the actual device. Now it's USB-A on one end, USB-C on the other. And I will tell you this right now, that purple means a lot because I tried to just use a regular USB-C blue cable and it wouldn't work at all. The minute I plugged in this one, it started charging. Um, so it was well worth it. Uh, I like the fact that I could easily just switch this over. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna lock this in. So now it's on my subscriber list and I'm just gonna let it sit there for a little bit. So as you guys watch this, if you haven't subscribed already, please like and subscribe and I will be able to see that you did it. And it will be so much better that I can continue to see that number go up. And please don't unsubscribe. I mean, no one wants to see that number go down and it's already 82. So um, funny thing is when I got this the other day, it was, I was at 81. So whoever that newest subscriber was, thank you for very much for subscribing. And um, this was just a, a very simple, like quick, it's not even a review of this because it's pretty simple. It's just a clock. Um, but for someone who's looking for a unique gift that I think stands out as a awesome gift for someone in the future, maybe Christmas has passed, but you've given out gifts for a birthday coming up or, you know, maybe it's Valentine's Day. And you just want to get someone that you care about something different. Um, this is just a very unique little clock. If they're a YouTuber or if they actually have, I think it does a couple other social media sites that not uh, are not that popular in the U.S., but it does those as well. And who knows, Yulanzi's pretty good about adding features through firmware. So maybe they come up a uh, option that you can add on your TikTok followers, or you can add on, you know, you know, Facebook or wherever it might be. I don't know. It is just something that this is pretty open. Uh, there is a program that you can actually download right now that it does support and it does give you the ability to do some more creative things within it. I haven't touched that yet because like I said, I just got it for Christmas. So I personally am going to just, you know, use it in this manner for right now and moving forward, uh, it'll just be in the background and hopefully it'll be something that uh, everyone just kind of looks at and says, oh, that poor fella, he's only got 82 subscribers. Maybe I'll give him a subscribe. So with that, like and subscribe, have a happy new year and be safe and we'll see you soon. Thank you.